I'm just looking at this guy's shirt. Maybe we want to like change it out. Ooh, that one's cool too. Today, uh, we are going to be hanging out creating what, Alex? Well, we're going to be making brand mockups with generative AI from yes. Photoshop. I have pulled a bunch of stock assets, stock images from Adobe Stock and other free resources for you to use. And now we're going to do is just kind of tell the AI where we want to place certain things for like a brand mockup with some like shirt things and reskinning stuff. Let's do two apples on this table and let's make one of the selections small and one of the selections large. When you're working with generative fill, it is going to fill the entirety, every single pixel of what you are selecting. And there it is, right there. And it gives us three options. Yes. That's the size. Now, can we make a large selection and do the exact same prop, red apple? Oh yeah, big boy. Big boy apple, yes, I agree. I just figured we've got this beautiful blank image. We got a laptop screen. So what we could do is like, if we were to treat this as like a final one, let's see what other options it gave us. This one feels like a better laptop. First one will probably be easier to put yeah. something on the screen too. Kind of copy that screen size, build another layer, fill it in with whatever color you want. It's white now, make it a smart object. Take this, double click oh. into it, throw whatever image in I want. And the cool thing about working with smart objects is you can edit, change everything in the actual file, and then it will apply whatever's on the smart object. You go to the edit, transform, perspective, aligned a little bit better to the screen mock-up. Pretty quick. It's pretty quick. We can throw in like maybe a coffee mug, a cell phone, some business cards. Coffee cup size. This coffee cup not fully in alignment with the overall lighting of this scene. So like retouching that would just make it even better. And let me just see if I can throw like a TV on the background wall too. Here. That is one of the best features of generative re <laughs> Oh yes, it pulled the screen in. That's really cool that it's like generative fill and it's taking into context what's in the photo Correct. and then helping you put it in there. Yeah, I'm just looking at this guy's shirt. Maybe we wanna like change it out. Let's do a fun patterned knit sweater. All right, what's our final prompt? Ooh. That's cool. That too. one's cool too. I like that one. I think that that's cool. And we can add in Christmas very easily and quickly by just typing the word Christmas into I'm that prompt. Duplicate it. Okay. Ugly Actually, Christmas you know what? Let's not duplicate it. It will add, and then we regenerate this. It will add it in the variation. Oh. I can't hate these though. Honestly, it's so impressive. I got this image of this kind of like cool little building. I want to use it for branding mockups. I'm gonna try to expand it on the other side and then use that as our mock-up. I'm just gonna expand that canvas over, let generative fill figure out the rest of that building. I wanna make sure you overlap a little bit with the image so it has something to sample from. And then we are gonna generative fill and not put a prompt in and just hit generate. And with no prompt in there, it will kind of just guess on what needs to go there and fill it in, take the context from the image and it will extend it here, which is gonna look really good. That's probably what I would use. Yep. Create like a shape layer that roughly the same kind of dimensions. Just fill it with a color, convert a smart object, and then we'll use our perspective tool. You can use the transform tool, hit control T, click and drag holding alt or option, and you can drag each individual anchor point. There we go, yep. Oh. And then just snap it in. We have it at the right perspective and it is transformed. Now, because it's a smart object, we can come in here and let's say that we wanna put like a mural on here. Yep. We wanna put our logo on there. Everything that we change in this document is going to be augmented onto that new perspective at the same time. Lazarus logo. Shameless promotion. And boom. Then I'll just grab color layer, pull it down. Boom, we got it. I just uh, essentially am grabbing the type, essentially content aware fill, but with a generative fill. Boom. It's really, really good for removing things, especially when you have little lines like that that it's trying to find. Don't put anything in the box and you can just click, click and it will be in there. Extend a little bit further to give us some more of that road. And actually you can see your smart object really well there. I wonder, put like a awning on the building? I would probably do a select and I would do color range, grab the color range, just click on the wall, right? And then That's I do smart. that. Fill this and make this into a smart object. You'd have to like deselect the sky. Let's do it and then change it to a color at least. Fill that selection with new Just layer like, and then fill it with a color. It yeah. did pretty okay. You'd have to go in there and do some masking. What is the process to get into this beta? You can type it in directly into the top if you want. You can search. Beta, it's right pulling there. it up right there. But you need to use the Photoshop on your computer. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>